Hello and welcome to Dead Cells with myself and Marta. Bit of a preamble before we get started. I have had my eye on this game up uh, channel-wise, excuse me, for quite some time, but it never really felt right timing-wise, because obviously this came out in early access quite some time ago, but as you can see, there was a recent update on December the 22nd, to be exact, called the Foundry Update, as it shows in rather large, lovely letters there on the main screen. I thought, you know what? What better time to do it than now? Because we just had this huge update. And basically, this first video is going to be sort of a look at the game, a sort of overall impressions of it, and then we're just going to be doing runs whenever I feel like it. I do work full time as well as doing the channel, so I can't make promises on how often it'll be, but I will try to get a couple of videos up a week. I'm not making any promises, mind, but I will try. <laughs> so, with all that said, let's start, because um, I wasn't very far in anyway. Let's start a new run. And. You might be wondering, okay, what was new in the Foundry update then? Well, the first thing is mutations, which pretty much is what it sounds like. You can choose various things like, hey, you, you regain some health when you kill an enemy, or hey, you get more attacks as you kill more things, that sort of stuff. They've also got custom difficulty, which basically means that after you defeated the game once, um, you can increase the difficulty up to three times, which is pretty damn cool for you masochists out there. I mean, I'm terrible at this game, so... That's never going to happen. Ow, you got me through the door, you bastard. And it also ties into their new weapon upgrade system as well. Now, obviously, the patch notes for this is huge. I'm very much giving you the cliff notes. So I have included a link in the, the description below for you guys who are wondering what exactly the update entails. Right, let's avoid that. Ooh, hello. Since I'm a giant cock up and taking damage already, I'll eat that kebab. I'll pick a kebab off the floor and eat it. I will do that in real life because I don't eat kebabs. They're generally quite disgusting, to be honest with you. <laughs> I know, like, anyway, British viewers are going, what? But I just. It's, it tastes slimy. You can kind of taste that it's, like, made out of, like, you know, the leftover bits of meat that nobody wants. Okay. Now, we've got a red sword at the moment. So as you can see, this is the upgrade system. I could get that for the health, but I think I will just go for this simply because we have a red weapon at the moment. So we've got brutality. Ah, let's not get hit by that. That'll be lovely. Thank you. Somehow I didn't take damage there, but it's all good. So you guys who have seen my Dark Souls video will know that I have praised this game in the past. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm any good at it. <laughs> oh god, I kind of got into the fry, uh, out of the frying pan into the fire there, but it's all right. We we made it work. I say I love the soundtrack. Oh yeah, I have gotten the first rune in this particular playthrough. I basically cleared all my saves and everything. Really, really, I've done terribly anyway, so I wasn't all that fussed about losing what little progress I had made, just so I could get a fresh start. But I have unlocked the first rune, which took me about an hour to do, which isn't too bad. Ooh, what's this? Frost Blast freezes enemies in front of you. Oh shit, no. I, no, I can't not have a shield because I'm terrible. I barely... No. No! <laughs> I don't live that dangerously, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I'm part of... Hey, excuse me. Alright, let's pay a thousand gold. Grab this. I'm very much a cautious player, so no. <laughs> Alright, let's just up our damage again, why not? Um, but I was going to say, I bet, I bet as much people go in the comments, you pussy, what are you doing? But, you know, I don't, that, that's just how I play, I'm cautious. Me without a shield is not good. What are you thinking? Oh, but you haven't even used it, you've been rolling all over the place. Be, yeah, but I will. You need it. For certain enemies, so at least I personally need it for certain enemies. So, <laughs> I'm sure, there's some pro out there like, you take damage in this game? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I've got a bit of a cough at the moment. It is on its way out, but it's still just there irritating me. The toxic sewers! Sounds lovely. Alright, yep, yep. Oh, hello friends, well, well, you're back. Alright, 
So we've got eight cells. Is there anything I'm working towards? Oh yes, the broadsword. Might as well put them into that because we got that blueprint last time. Now the cells that you pick up are the sort of blue orb things that enemies drop. It's kind of similar to souls in a in a way. Um, but obviously these these are these this guy is basically so your your progression isn't lost. However, if you do die, you will drop the cells you're carrying, and if you don't make it back to this guy in time, then RAP basically. So you do, you will lose some progression because it's just that type of game. It is a roguelike with procedural generation. But this guy does actually mean there is some progression in the game. You unlock new weapons, new blueprints, you know, you can improve things upon your start, that sort of stuff. So um, let's go down here and there should be... Yeah, here's the mutation fellow. Here's what I'm going to be going through. One second. <coughs> Pardon me. So as you can see... Um, I have already gotten the thing that lets you keep 3,000 gold upon death. Uh, so let's see. General mutation, two times ammunition on your ranged weapon saves you once if you meet a premature end. Plus two HP when you kill an enemy. I did give this a try, but the HP is so minimal, it's not really that good. So I'm going to go for this. Because as I said, I'm bad. So. <laughs> Alright, we might as well heal up here. Because. Uh... Oh, you have to hold it. I keep forgetting that. This little fella will refill my. Not Estus Flask. <laughs> okay. Let's go! I don't know why those guys were camping out in the toxic sewers, but each to his own, as the, ma the maid said as she kissed the cow. Alright. What's that funky smell? I just got an achievement. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> uh, funky smell is probably like years worth of uh, piss and god knows what else. Oh. Hey, you. Come over here for a bit. Sure, you seem a little slow, but you seem to understand what I'm saying. I lost a ru I mean my rune, so you see I'm a little stuck, and I need my rune, you see. You wouldn't mind finding it for me now, would you? Ho ho, thank you. It's somewhere around here in these sewers on your side of these bars. Bring it to me now. Alright. Any idea what your rune, what's your rune, where are you? Okay, so you're not going to tell me what your rune is, what it looks like, where it might be... You're not going to be helpful at all in any respect. Alright, cool. I'm down. Door was sealed one minute, 20 seconds ago. Too bad. So I keep seeing these doors everywhere, but I'm, I'm always like one minute and something too slow. So I'm just like, what like maniac gets there in time? <laughs> Probably quite a few maniacs. Oh god, you're new. I've not seen a scorpion before. Too far, I don't think I've seen the sewers before, which is interesting. So... Oh, lots of new ow tasty stuff since I played. It's been quite a long time since I played this game, to be honest with you. So... Oh god. Alright. <sighs> I'm guessing there's something not friendly down there if he died like that. No, he just he just died. Alright. I mean I mean I'm not complaining, so oh god. Alright, rolling seems to be pretty damn good. Now, you might notice that when I roll, there's a little flash at the end of the animation. There are options, I don't know if I can actually show you them. Let's see. Misc. Yeah, 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 here we go. So, where is it? Yeah, show the roll cooldown feedback. So, basically, it's a slight flash to let you know you can roll again. And I've also got smart rolling, so I don't just roll off the edge of a platform. Because to be honest, like that's not even skill. That's just like, oh, I misjudged. I mean, yeah, it's skill to not roll off the platform, but I'm I'm learning, so you know, that's one thing at a time. And also, I'm I'm, I'm terrible enough as this game without dying because I rolled off the platform. So we've also got this as well. So they have got quite the level of customization. I don't know what die is. I don't know. I mean, I think maybe that's the level of blood. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Um. You can rebind if you want to play on keyboard and mouse like some sort of maniac. Um, as you can see, these are all the controls with the controller I am actually using. As you can see and are probably not surprised about, the video options for this game are pretty limited, but given the graphic style, which is gorgeous, it's not really surprising. So I've turned off VSync and the game is running at like over 200 frames a second, so you know, that's why that's, why that's off, because why would it be? Alright, so let's try and not horribly die by falling on a scorpion. That would be lovely. Oh, bastard. I was hoping I could kill a scorpion in time, but no, I was too slow. Too slow. Alright. 
I can climb on these sticky outy bits, but not those sticky outy bits for reasons. Alright. Let's see what's cracking this way. Ow! Holy shit! They do a lot of damage. I do not like the scorpions at all. Okay, what do you do? What do you say? They look like they explode, so... <laughs> We're hit by one, but... You know what? I'm just going to leave that guy alone. Oh, fuck me. Uh, yeah, run away, see ya. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, we got another slug fella there, but what? This is, this is nothing? Okay. So, if you, if you guys haven't seen my Dark Souls video, if you haven't seen this game, it, as you probably have surmised from a lot of the things I have said, this game is a procedurally generated roguelike game that definitely has some Dark Souls inspirations that you have undoubtedly already seen. Now, there isn't a stamina bar like there is in Dark Souls, but... It still has pretty damn difficult combat and it sort of has a similar style of lore in that everything's kind of in the background. Oh god. Alright, let's finish that thought in a second. I just deal with these guys. There we go. Lovely. Alright, let's uh, head down. There we go. Immunity to explosions against those guys would be wonderful, but. Uh, Ow! I was shielding, but took horrible damage anyway. Wait, hold on a second. Huh. Interesting. I thought I unlocked a new shield. Maybe it's not, like, automatically... Hmm. Alright. Fair enough, I'll have to look into that if I ever get back to the collector this round. Oh god. Quick. Whew. All right, that was pretty close, but we made it. It's all good. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. See, so yeah, it has quite the cool graphic style as well, which I really love. Like, I feel like <coughs> yeah, part of the charm of a game like Dark Souls, or you know, obviously. Dark Souls itself is the fact that the world is just really gorgeous to look at. It makes you want to know more. It makes you want to explore. And the same can be said of Dead Cells. Now the combat is, as I said, not quite as um, sort of stringent, I guess is the right word, as Dark Souls. Because, as I say, there is no stamina mechanic in this game. There we go. Let's avoid the explosion. Ow! I'm not doing well this round at all. There we go. Alright. Really use some health items. That would be great. But it, again, has a similar style in that you have to sort of, you know, dodge for attacks, no one to block, that sort of stuff. Ooh, Scroll of the Assassin. Alright, I love you. Let's have some health, please. Thank you. Brutality. Ooh, what's that? Look. There's no one. Okay. Now, one thing I'm actually quite glad of, oh shit, is that there isn't like touch damage to enemies, because obviously, you know, if there was, I would have taken. Ooh, oh, ow, 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 ow. Holy shit. I'm dead. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about my death cheat. <laughs> I forgot about that. I was like, oh shit, that was a short run, but no, no. My uh, my pre-planning saved me there. <laughs> God, those scorpions are nasty. But yeah, so you still have to manage, like, know when to attack, know when to dodge, no fuck, know when to block. And I'm dead. Alright, I lost nine cells. That was terrible. That was literally AIDS. I said multiple times I was terrible, guys, and I was not kidding, so... I least I'd lose all my gold when I die, so that's a plus. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm curious about something. Let me, uh... Alright, never mind. Uh... Okay. Okay! Shield! I love you! Whoa! 
Oh, damn it. I was trying to block it, but I wasn't fast enough. And what is going on with this? I want to know. Nope. There's not one open. At least not yet. Now, it will open at some point. But, uh, law, you know, law. And one thing I do want to know is, is that guy still there? Now, another thing this game likes to do, I've come in with the trailer thought there, it, that's similar to Dark Souls, is that obviously, you know, each enemy can absolutely ruin your day. Like, yeah, there are certain mobs that are easier, sure, but, you know, any of these guys could ruin me if I let them, so it also has that in common as well. So, you know, this game is not a Dark Souls-like exactly, but it definitely has taken some inspiration from it, I would say. But it is a really good game just on its own. Like not only because the graphics, but the combat is satisfying. You know, even though it feels a bit sort of spammy by you know just pressing X that sort of stuff, but it is still fun. It's very enjoyable. And you know, despite the frustration of oh I died, I'm awful. Like you get a little further each time, and you sort of unlock things to make your life easier next time, and things get easier as you go on if you have the skill. So let's just get more brutality because I have no other. How are you? Bastard. I know things worthwhile right now. Right. Uh, yeah, one thing I did discover is that you can kind of make people dizzy by smashing the door into their face. Oh, let's see. Twin daggers. Ooh, okay. Electric whip. Enemies release a toxic cloud. Firebrand. Yeah, let's replace my rusty sword, I think, because that's obviously my main damage dealer. I wish I had enough money for one of these, because they both sound really good, but I don't. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's see what's this way, shall we? Ooh, hello. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Ligament Slicer 2. Fire swords on nearby enemies, inflicting 20 damage a second, plus 6 damage a second, bleeding damage. Cool. Sign me up. Sounds good. I wonder how long a cooldown it has. I guess we can find out when there's some enemies worth using it on. Ooh, what's over there? Hello. Bear Trap 1. Which is two traps which mobilize enemies for 6.5 seconds, increases all damage taken by trap down in bear 40. Cool, awesome. Oh god. Oh shit. That shield guy needs to pop off and die, seriously. Oh god. You know what? Let's uh let's test this out. There we go. Gotcha. Scroll of power. Uh yeah, let's grab that since I now actually have green weapons and it's actually worth grabbing that. Hmm. Alright. I say I love the animation on these swords. They look really cool. Like I just, you just tell the amount of love they poured into this game. So that's oh hello. Dead for a while now. He's dead. Okay. Last time I found a dead body, he recently died, and he said like items and stuff on him. But I guess if they've been dead by, dead for a while, then that doesn't count. Sadly. Uh, so yeah, overall impressions of the game, to be honest, are really, really good. Obviously, if you don't like procedural generation, if you don't like the sort of random nature of things, then that is obviously going to be a bit of a sort of downer for you. But I think, to be honest, like, I'm not a huge fan of that either most of the time. So I might as well grab that. That's massive damage. Um, I'm not a massive fan of that either because I feel like, you know, I'm just smashing my face against the wall and it's never going to get any better. But this game does have some interesting mechanics in place to make it feel like you are actually making progress and the game is just really satisfying to play even the combat is a little spammy it still feels nuanced it still feels skillful because you know you've still got roll block attack you know not get hit that sort of stuff and there's not that many health drops in the game not that i've seen at least so you know there is a quite a lot of challenge to this game but it also doesn't feel like brutally unforgiving or anything all right so we, we can't progress till we spend all of ourselves, so let's, uh, two charges would actually be really nice, so let's just start get, let's start working on that. Hmm. Recover 1% of your life with each melee attack, but take 2.5% damage, 
Something heavy but looks badass, the best way to compensate. Mm, no. Nah. I mean, obviously I didn't know that it did that before I invested all those cells in it, but uh, you never know. Ooh, 3 HP this time. You know what, I'm going to grab that again, because that did save my ass. Like, oh, wait, can I get more? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I was like, ooh. All right, let's heal. Fill the rest us. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, this game is just really, really cool. Really satisfying to play. And the soundtrack is like, hmm. Magnifique. Right. Oh, God. Issues. Alright, one's down. Alright, that's good. You. There we go. You need to die. Now, these guys tend to fuck me up, but I managed to not get hit that time, so. Yeah, you waste your charge, friend. You do that shit. You wasted it. You wasted your one chance. Actually, you probably had several chances because I'm terrible, but, you know, let's, let's pretend I'm not for a sec, yeah? <laughs> Ooh. All right, we're all behind you and kill you free. You need to attack, but I think if I hadn't killed him there, the fact that I kept attacking wouldn't have been good. I should pay more attention to that warning there. Oh shit! Issues. All right, I, I saved it. It's all good. Let's not get hit though. That would be bad. As I say, like you really want to avoid taking damage if you can, because there's not really that many opportunities to heal, at least not in my experience. Like, yeah, you get the occasional kebab drops or whatever, but <clears throat> who knows when that'll be. Oh, bloody hell. Alright, let's just block. There we go. It really is best just to block against those things. I tried so many times to like hit them and it's just it's honestly an exercise of frustration. Alright, how behind am I? Two minutes and ten seconds ago. Oof. Gabe's just like folding its arms like nah mate. Nah mate, nah mate, nah mate, nah mate. Nah, mate. Alright. Uh anything up here? New no. teleporto. Ooh, hello, it's something down here. Alright, I somehow didn't die there. So yeah, let's just jump down the hole, why not? Are you anything? Rub. No, okay. Pay. Holy shit, that's expensive. I want to know what that is. I want to know, but I, I will never know. Well, I don't know about never, but I won't know this time. So it might as well be never. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Alright. Whoop. Oh god. Issues! <laughs> okay, I somehow didn't take damage there. Oh god. <sighs> I got super lucky there. Alright, you... Alright, this guy is well annoying because he puts shields on all the other enemies. Can I get up there to smack him down? Or is he going to cause me problems? I think he's going to cause me issues. Let's just get up there. Ow. Ooh, you know what, let's just put that up there. Got tools, let's use them. Alright. Okay, oh! Oh shit. I could have ended really poorly. Oh shit! This is like a new teleport. Holy crap. Alright, let's heal up. This isn't going very well, is it? That's gonna be a common theme, I think, with this series. Oh man. So, uh, obviously, we just had the busy Christmas period. Hope you guys all had a good one. It's been a very, very relaxed Christmas day, which is good because obviously it's been pretty damn busy. Channel wise, and it was just nice today. We chilled. Obviously, had the Christmas meal. My sister cooks this year, and I was a bit afraid, but she actually did a really, really good job. Um, hmm. Let's just upgrade that again. There we go. Brutality. 
So yeah, I was slightly afraid, but uh, no, it was, it was lovely. And then, you know, we watched Scrooge, as I already said. Hmm. Hmm. Let's, let's try that out for a while. The Ligma Slicer is good, but I've, we've already got a trapping mechanic, so we don't want to have two, because that was kind of a bit overkill, I think. Yeah, so I say, we watched Scrooge, we watched Die Hard, because of course it's not Christmas until you see Hans Gruber fall from Nakatomi building, etc. Oh god, one of these bloody flying things. Come on then, you bastard. Come on. There you go. Oh god. Do you want to join the funner? Huh? Alright. Okay, that's not really what I had in mind game, but it's okay. Oh god. Oh, I killed it! Yeah! I did it! <laughs> oh fuck. This is just nope town, this is. Alright, I'm, I'm going. See you later. All right, you are persistent. All right. Uh. All right let's... Aha, bloody hell. I really need to pay more attention. All right, minus a scroll. What are we getting? You found rare blueprint. Yeah, rare blueprint, explosive lore, and it looks like a little poo. That'd be good. So you kind of get a feel for how the progression system actually works in this game. Like you unlock blue blueprints, and you know you can also unlock the ability to have basically you can start with any of the weapons you can unlock if you you know you're willing to put the time and energy into making that happen. That being cells, of course. So you know it does have a feel of progression. I'm tempted to put this just because it gives me 50% extra health, which will heal me more than this one. But I don't have any violet equipment, so... Alright. Oh, bloody hell. I was hoping the... Oh, he's down there, is he? Alright. That saves me some trouble! Fuck. Thought I was going to be quick enough there, but I was not. But now I'm basically going there. Are you going there? Alright, let's... Try and not lose all of our progress this time. Alright, that's Nope Town. I'm going to do it over there. That is officially Nope Town. Oh god. Have I used my, like, save you once from death thing yet? I can't honestly recall. No, I haven't because. <coughs> Excuse me, it's still there on the um, UI there. Alright. Up there is also nope down, so I'm just not going to deal with it. See, that's what I also like about this game is that there's a kind of Metroidvania aspect to it, and that you know it's kind of the sort of oh hello presentation. My stuff is too good for you, scram. No, I just I just can't afford it. I mean, I'd love the Blood Sword Three, but I can't afford it. Ah uh, well, yeah. So you kind of got this sort of you know sort of platform style of Metroidvania games, but also like you know different abilities and. How it feels, it feels like a Metroidvania game, even though it isn't strictly Metroidvania if you want to get real technical. Oh, hello, I love that. Please, please give me health. Even a little would be good. Health? No. Ooh, what's that up there? Something else, but I don't think I can reach it. Uh, Alright, no, nothing up there of interest. Alright, block. Right, no. Okay. Oh, most. Oh, bloody hell! Oh god! Issues! Issues! Whew. All right, we're all good. Let's try this out for size, shall we? Oh shit! Right, let's go up here. <laughs> Come on! Come on, little fella. There you go. Alright, you need to die horribly. As do you. Oh, shit. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, ah! Fuck! Oh, God. Alright. <laughs> I totally did not deserve to survive that. <laughs> I did not deserve to survive that. Even slightly, Bill. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> ah! Fuck. Alright, I'm not going that way. <laughs> I'm not even slightly going that way. Alright, uh, I really, really need some health. Oh god! Whew. Whew, alright. Um. Garden is key, huh? Hmm. Maybe we should go back that way? Because I can't really go this way. I mean, I'm sure I could if I had the skill, but the issue is I don't have the skill, so. You know. Kind of at an impasse there, really, aren't we? Alright, let me see. What's cracking over here? Oh, where is this gardener's key you're talking about? Ew, how do you, how do you get that? No, I don't. I don't have like a wall jump, do I? No. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um. It's a bit this way we haven't explored, so I guess we can just go that way. See what's going down. Oh, maybe we can afford something from that guy now, actually, while we're here. KO shield, absorb damage, inflict dirty damage, stun block, stun longer when you parry, all damage taken minus 5%, poison the victim. Yeah. Let's grab that. Even if we don't use it much this round, because we are we are literally bleeding from every orifice, it'll be useful for the future. So, uh, all right, it was over here we were gonna have a look at, wasn't it? What was down? I genuinely can't remember what was down here. Oh yeah, this was also Nope Town, wasn't it? Oh, you know, like, how do we even like? Jump and then jump at the last minute. Like, that's just evil. That's pure evil. Why would you do that? <laughs> hmm. I genuinely don't know where to go. Is that way? I mean, maybe we should just go back to there and see if there is another way around. Because. Whoa, shit. Alright, um, this is an issue. Yeah, see you later, bro. Bye! I literally am about to die, so... Might as well see if we can uh, make it across. We'll see how we can make it across for future playthroughs, all that sort of stuff. Not like that. 70... Oh my god. Why am I so terrible, Bill? I'm terrible. <laughs> uh, what? Oh yeah, I was like, why is I only 256? Because I spent that money. Okay, well at least, at least I invested money. All those sales went to waste, but it's okay. I'm just going to cry myself to sleep now. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.